Hello dear class 10 students I hope you all are doing great so today in this lecture number 2 we are going to see the chemical properties of metals so in the first lecture we have completed the physical properties of metals and nonmetals all right guys now let us see the reactivity series of metals etia swa a reactivity series to hoise ekon list of metals zot metals bur arranged hoy thake okay in the order of their decreasing activities so a reactivity series should upar pa tolole jaute metals pur reactivity to decrease hoy jay okay aru tolor pra upar le jaute metals pur reactivity to increase hoy as you can see here so these are the list of metals and these are the respective symbols of these elements all right etia swa a reactivity series should most reactive metal to hoy jay potassium so k to hoy jay potassium or symbol so k is the most reactive so now can you tell me which is the least reactive yes it is gold so gold or symbol to hoise au so tumalukor mcq jot hoy tu ene dhorno questions ahibo pare like uh, which is the most reactive metal in the reactivity series or which is the least reactive one i hope it is clear now so as you move down reactivity decreases and as you move up reactivity increases so guys tumalukor examot 1 by 2 marks or a reactivity series or definition to ahibo pare okay so proper definition to swa the arrangement of metals in the decreasing order of their reactivity in the form of series is called the reactivity series of the metal so basically in this reactivity series this list of metals they are arranged in the decreasing order of their reactivity okay now let's see the reaction of metals with oxygen Almost all metals react with oxygen to form metal oxide, but reactivity differs for different metals. So almost all metals say oxygen or logot react kore. So metals pur oxygen or logot react kora pisat metal oxide form hoy. Etia swa belek belek metals or khetra reactivity to differ kore. So students tumaluke a important equation to monotrakhi ba. Okay, metal plus oxygen it gives metal oxide. Now we know that sodium and potassium being most reactive react with oxygen at room temperature to form oxides. Etia ami janu je reactivity series or bhitot potassium aru sodium tue sobotke uporot ase right so he karone ei duta metal e sobotke reactive hoy. So ei metal duta jetia room temperature or oxygen or logot react hoy tetia oxides form hoy. So reaction to hoyse potassium plus oxygen it gives potassium oxide so guys now can you tell me if this chemical reaction is balanced or unbalanced yes it is unbalanced because if you count the number of atoms then you will get to know so as you can see here on the left side of the equation we have got two oxygen right and on the right side we have got only one oxygen and as you can see here on the left side we have got only one potassium whereas right side we have got two potassium so now we have to balance this so now by putting a two in front of the product that is potassium oxide we will get two oxygen but on the right side now we have got four potassium right whereas on the left side if we put two in front of the potassium then the equation is not balanced so we have to change it into four so guys if you count the atoms now you will see that this chemical equation is balanced now so in order to balance any chemical equation you just have to follow three steps okay basically you have to count the atoms then change the coefficient and then count again well guys in this chapter we are not going to learn balancing and all for this we will discuss it in a separate chapter as of now i just explained the first chemical equation that how you can balance it okay now see the second equation when sodium it combines with oxygen it forms sodium oxide and this is the balanced chemical equation now next see magnesium does not react with oxygen at room temperature but on heating magnesium bonds in air with intense light and heat to form magnesium oxide so basically magnesium to room temperature oxygen or logot react no kore kintu magnesium to jetia gorom hoy air ot burn hoy tetia light aru heat produce kore to form magnesium oxide so a reaction to hoyse exothermic reaction 
meaning it releases energy in the form of heat and light. So, a reaction or chemical equation to hoise Mg plus O2 magnesium plus oxygen it gives MgO that is magnesium oxide. Ru logote yat energy release hoy. Okay? Now see here this is the balanced chemical equation. I hope it is clear. It is a triangle ba Greek letter delta to hoise chemical equation at u swa heat or symbol. So a reaction to heat dear karone magnesium oxide produce hoise. Otherwise room temperature at magnesium to oxygen or logot react hole magnesium oxide to produce no kore. It is next reaction to swa zinc bounds in air only on strong heating to form zinc oxide. So a reaction to zinc oxide strong heat di air at burn kore tetia zinc oxide to form hoi. So it is chemical equation to hoise zinc plus oxygen on strong heating it forms zinc oxide and this is the balanced chemical equation. So guys to maluke reactions puro logote chemical equations puro zani bole gibo. Thika se? Iron does not burn even on strong heating, but iron filings burn vigorously when sprinkled in the flame of the burner. And the iron filings on strong heating form iron oxide. Etia swa iron to sodi ami flame of heat koru, tetia iron to burn no hoi. Kintu iron filings bur. So e iron filings bur hoi se iron or kisuman horu horu particles. Okay? So e iron filings bur sodi ami flame of dew. Tetia vigorously burn hoy. So your simple reason to hose iron to burn hole hole, zun to temperature lage, he temperature to koi ignition temperature. Okay? So e ignition temperature to nupuar karone iron to burn one hai. Kin to zihe to e iron filings pur horu horu particles. So ignition temperature to reach hua loge loge vigorously burn hoy. Are burn hoi pisat iron oxide form hoy. Is it clear? So a reaction to chemical equation to swa yet iron to hoise iron filings, okay? So iron filings plus oxygen on strong heating it gives iron oxide. So this reaction is one of the important reaction. Now we know that copper is least reactive, right? And it does not burn but on heating the hot metal is coated with a black colored layer of layer of copper oxide. Etia ami zanu ze reactivity series at copper to taller phale ase, right? So he karne copper to least reactive. So copper to zetia heat kora hoi, tetia zoli ne zai. In fact, tetia metal to gorom hoi, tat eta black colored layer form hoi. Aro he black colored layer to ke koi copper oxide. So a reaction to chemical equation to hoise, copper plus oxygen on heating it gives copper oxide. So guys, ami zodi copper se gat aluminium law or aluminium to zodi ami heat koru, tete ki form hobo? Yes, aluminium oxide. So chemical equation to hoise, aluminium plus oxygen on heating, it gives aluminium oxide. So aluminium oxide or formula to hoise, Al2O3. And this is the balanced chemical equation. Alright, etia swa a reactivity series at metals pur keneke oxygen or logot react kore moi aku briefly explain kori disu eti ami janu je sodium aru potassium hoise most reactive metal right so e metal duta room temperature oxygen or logot react hoy oxides form hoy so potassium aru oxygen combine hole potassium oxide form hoy aru sodium aru oxygen combine hole sodium oxide form hoy is it clear eti next swa calcium aru magnesium Room temperature normally oxygen or logot react no hoy. So oxide form ho bolle hole reaction to heat di bolle kibo. So magnesium plus oxygen on heating it forms magnesium oxide. Similarly, calcium plus oxygen on heating it forms calcium oxide. Etya next swa aluminium aru zinc or khetrot reaction to strong heating di lehe oxide form ho So zinc plus oxygen on strong heating it gives zinc oxide. Similarly, Aluminium plus oxygen on strong heating, it gives aluminium oxide. Next, iron to sodi ami heat koru, tetia burn no hoi. Kintu, iron or sodi ami filings slow, tetia vigorously burn kore, right? So, iron filings broke strong heat delay, tetia iron oxide form hoi. Tetia copper to zihe to least reactive, so he karne, copper to heat kori leo burn no hoi. So, metal to gorom hoi, tateta black colored layer pore, okay? 
और हे ब्लैक कलर लेयर टू के कोई कोपर ऑक्साइड ओके गाइस सो आई गेस यू ऑल अंडरस्टूड हाउ दिस मेटल्स रिएक्ट विथ ऑक्सीजन ग्रेट सो नाउ लेट अस सी द रिएक्शन ऑफ वाटर विथ मेटल ऑक्साइड्स एंड नेसर ऑफ ऑक्साइड्स सो नाउ लेट अस सी हाउ मेटल्स रिएक्ट विथ वाटर ओके इटिया फर्स्ट इक्वेशन टू स्वा सो मेटल्स वर सेटिया कोल्ड वाटर लगत रिएक्ट करे तेटिया मेटल हाइड्रोक्साइड प्रोड्यूस होय आरो हाइड्रोजन गैस रिलीज होय सिमिलरली मेटल्स वर सेटिया हॉट वाटर लगत रिएक्ट होय तेटिया मेटल हाइड्रोक्साइड प्रोड्यूस होय आरो हाइड्रोजन गैस रिलीज होय ओके किंतु मेटल्स वर सेटिया सीम वाटर लगत रिएक्ट करे तेटिया मेटल ऑक्साइड प्रोड्यूस होय आरो लगत हाइड्रोजन गैस तो रिलीज होय सो गाइस ऑल यू नीड टू नो इज दैट मेटल्स रिएक्ट विथ वाटर एंड प्रोड्यूस अ मेटल ऑक्साइड एंड हाइड्रोजन गैस Now see most metal oxides are insoluble in water but uh, some of these dissolve in water to form alkalis etia swa junbur metal oxides water dissolve hoy he bilak koy basic oxides okay so a oxides bur jetia water logot react hoy tetia eta base form hoy aur he base tuke koy alkali now see for example potassium and sodium oxides dissolve in water to produce alkalis as follows सो ए रिएक्शन टू केमिकल इक्वेशन टू सुआ पटासियम ऑक्साइड ऑफ़ फॉर्मूला तो होते हैं के टू ओ सो पटासियम ऑक्साइड प्लस वाटर इट गिव्स पटासियम हाइड्रोक्साइड हुई सीज़न एल कलाई सो पटासियम हाइड्रोक्साइड ऑफ़ फॉर्मूला तो होते हैं के ओ एच सिमिलरली सोडियम ऑक्साइड तो जेटिया वाटर डिसोल्व होए तेटिया सोडियम हाइड्रोक्साइड तो सो स्टूडेंट्स तुम लोग रिएक्शनस पढ़ोते केमिकल इकुएनस लिखी लिखी प्रेक्टिश एनीवेज नाउ लेट अस सी द नेचर ऑफ ऑक्साइड्स एटिया सुआ ऑक्साइड्स और किसान नेचर आसे लाइक एसिडिक बेसिक न्यूट्रल और एम्फोटरिक ओके नाउ सी व्वेन एन एसिड एंड ए बेस रिएक्ट दे फर्म सल्ट एंड वाटर सो ए रिएक्शन तो मन रखा एसिड और बेस रिएक्ट कर सल्ट और वाटर फर्म है और ये रिएक्शन टूक न्यूट्रलाइजेशन रिएक्शन बुली क्या है सो एग्जाम पे डिफाइन न्यूट्रलाइजेशन रिएक्शन ओके सो यू हेव टू राइट द डेफिनेशन एज वेन एन एसिड एंड बेस रिएक्ट दे फॉर्म सल्ट एंड वाटर ओके नेक्स्ट सी मेटल ऑक्साइड प्लस एसिड इट केव सल्ट प्लस वाटर सो दिस मेटल ऑक्साइड इट बिहेव लाइक बेस डेट्स वाई इट केव सल्ट प्लस वाटर वेन इट रिएक्ट उथ एसिड नाउ व्हाट इज द नेचर ऑफ मेटल ऑक्साइड्स Yes, metal oxides are basic in nature, except aluminium oxide and zinc oxide. Rest, all the metal oxides are basic. All right, now see here, non-metal oxide plus base it gives salt plus water. So in this case, this non-metal oxide it behaves like acid. That's why it gives salt plus water when it reacts with base. So the nature of the non-metal oxides are acidic. So now see one example here. So when aluminum oxide it reacts with sodium hydroxide it gives sodium aluminate plus water etia swa already ami janu je metal oxides or nature to hoise basic right kintu tuta exception ase so exception tuta hoise aluminum oxide aru zinc oxide etia a reaction to base to hoise sodium hydroxide right so aluminum oxide to base or presence of acid behave kore aru he karne सल्ट और वाटर प्रड्यूस है सो इत सल्ट सोडियम एलुमिनेट सो सोडियम एलुमिनेटर फर्मूला तो एन ए एल ओ टू सो ए रिएक्शन तो एसिड तो एलुमिनियम अक्साइड और बेस तो सोडियम हाइड्रक्साइड इतना चुना ए रिएक्शन तो एलुमिनियम अक्साइड और हाइड्रक्लोरिक एसिड रिएक्ट हुए एलुमिनियम क्लोराइड और वाटर फर्म से राइट सो ए रिएक्शन तो एसिड तो हाइड्रक्लोरिक एसिड सो एसिडर प्रेजेन्स ये एलुमिनियम अक्साइड तो बेस निचना बिहेव करण सल्ट और वाटर प्रड्यूस सो अक्साइड उथ रिएक्ट उथ एसिड्स एज वेल एज बेसेस टू प्रड्यूस सल्ट एंड वाटर आर नोन एज एम्फोटरिक अक्साइड्स एग्जाम्पल एलुमिनियम अक्साइड एंड जिंक अक्साइड सो एम्फोटरिक अक्साइड्स डेफिनेशन तो एने अक्साइड्स जोब एसिड्स और बेस दुटार लगते रिएक्ट हो सल्ट और वाटर प्रड्यूस कर For example, aluminium oxide or zinc oxide. Okay, guys. So we are done for this lesson number two. And if you have any doubt, you can comment. 
So in our coming lecture, we are going to continue the reaction of water with metals. So stay tuned. Thank you.